uBlock Origin, Kildads on Desktop, Advanced on Mobile, and now SponsorBlock is making me, an aspiring content creator, shiver as it lets you skip integrated sponsorships, subscription bagging, and screens, you name it. Hi, name's Alex Train, and I make short reviews. So the main problem with YouTube sponsorships is that they mostly lack variety. How many times have you heard about Rage Shadow Legend and the overly long messages that they force creators to recite like the Bible? What's even worse, it won't stop even if you already purchased their shaving goods or VPN service. Same with the intros. No matter how much I love a channel, it doesn't really make me want to rewatch it for the hundredth time. So sponsored block, just like Netflix, gives you the option to skip those. And this gets even more handy when you just want to watch the game without any lengthy additions. You can use it in Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and even Edge browser. Plus there's third party support, making it available on both Android and iOS. So how does it work? Unfortunately, no magic. User submissions. But don't worry, it's not complicated. At the beginning of the ad, press the sponsor block button. Search for the ad, preferably with some level of precision, and press the end button. A new upload button appears. Obviously, you press it. Adjusting the playback speed greatly helps with precision. Choose an appropriate category. Use the inspect and preview buttons to see if you missed something or went overboard. You can fine tune the start or end of the submission on the playhead or enter in the time manually. Sometimes it's easier to change the seconds than to scroll. And when you're fully satisfied, hit submit. There are guidelines that you should absolutely read. If you find someone's submission to be violating these guidelines, report it by putting the thumbs down. Putting the thumbs down on your own submission will outright delete it. Each category has its own settings. Behavior, color that you can also adjust. I feel that many things could get improved. Say tags for fun and interesting sponsors. Maybe only skip certain ads that you decide on. Have individual time and whitelist settings for each category. Yes, YouTube is filled with ads, sponsors, but then we bitch about clickbait and content focused on small kids while cutting all creators' lifelines. You too can aspire to make minimum wage one day as a YouTuber, or focus on kids that don't install ad blocks, sponsor blocks, and buy shitty, effortless merch. Actually, like, share, and leave comments under your videos, or I guess pump out reviews on day one with little or no testing or honesty, because the manufacturer, not the viewer, is paying your rent. Mm, so why am I even trying to do this the right way? 